Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me tonight at the uh, Disability Virtual Cabaret. My name is Bree, and I'm going to be showing you some images of some artwork that I created in a community screen printing class. So what I'm going to show you is a project that I created called the Vitruvian Man series. And um, it's about, you know, creating a, an accessible studio and also uh, using the body as the body is meant to be used when making art without worrying about how it is uh, supposed to be done. So I'm going to get into that now. So when it comes to screen printing, there are some variables that I really needed to consider when it came to, to making the process work for me. Um, three of the variables that really stood out to me were how high is the table going to be that I physically print on. Um, another variable was how big is the squeegee itself that I'm going to pull. So how easy is that for me to pull physically? And also, am I able to do this on my own? So this idea of whether or not I would receive help uh, was another variable that I considered because oftentimes screen printers or printmakers in general do have assistance. So these were all things that I was thinking about with this series. I did prints with a standard squeegee, so I tried out that process. And with a standard squeegee, I use the color black to create the print. For um, prints that I used a smaller squeegee for, I used the color blue. For prints that I received help with from the instructor, I uh, used the color yellow to show that. And for prints that I used no help and did it completely by myself, I used the color uh, magenta. The next image that I am going to show is of the studio space itself. So an image description of this image is um, a community art studio space. Um, it showcases two chairs that are facing each other with a wooden board in the middle of them and a screen, pin screen printing silk screen um, raised up from the wooden board prepared to make a print. There's also a table behind this setup um, and some people working in the background. So this is one of the ways or one of the solutions that I thought would make the process easier for me. So I am a person of short stature. The table height that you can, um, that's visible in this image is the table that all the students were expected to print at. However, when I stand at that table, it's about at my chin height. So the act of actually pulling a screen and reaching my arms overhead and pulling it is pretty difficult. So I wanted to create a, 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 um, a table that was at about waist level for me, like it was for the other students in the class. Well, I've spent enough time telling you all about the process of this series. So now, of course, I have to show the final product. Uh, but first, an image description. So we are now looking at a white wall with a grid of 12 screen prints attached to the wall with magnets. This grid is arranged um, four across and three down. And the image on each print is of Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man um, drawing that has been um, replicated and shown throughout art history. Um, I chose this image because it was really meant to be kind of a play on this idea of this Vitruvian man who is a white man that is supposedly perfectly mathematically proportional. The process of making the image was anything but proportional or average um, or normal if we want to use that term. Um, so each of these prints have two pulls of them, so, so they were pulled with the squeegee twice um, with two different ink colors. So for instance, if you look at the first print um, in the top left-hand corner, you will see that it's using the colors black and magenta. Um, so that print um, 
judging by the key that I showed earlier, means that I used a large squeegee and didn't have any assistance. Um, another one I can identify is the print in the middle row that is on the far right. That has the colors uh, blue or cyan and yellow. So that print actually meant that I used a smaller squeegee, which was much easier for my hands, and also uh, used the help of my instructor. So the top row was printed at the average height table, and it's hung at that height on the wall. The middle row was printed at the um, makeshift table that I created with the two chairs and a board. And the bottom row was actually pulled um, on the floor. So ideally, um, in this series, I found through the process that I loved using the small squeegee. I loved using the um, middle height table. And I also really appreciated the help of my instructor to get everything situated. So it was just a process of, of exploring what worked access-wise. And um, hopefully it made some folks think when they looked at it in the gallery space. Um, thanks so much for your time tonight, and um, have a good night. Thank you.